Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at a new dealership for the channel and a new brand. I'm here at FC Kerbeck Buick GMC in Palmyra, New Jersey to check out this brand new 2024 Buick and Vista Preferred in Moonstone Gray Metallic. So we're gonna check out this Invista, see what it brings to this entry level SUV segment for Buick in 2024. Let's dig in. Front end of the Invista in the Moonstone Gray Buick emblem on the hood looks good. LED lighting all the way around up front. We have the grill with some gloss black and chrome accents, some brushed aluminum down below on the lower part of the grill. Good looking front end here on this Invista Preferred, which is the entry level trim in the Invista lineup. As we move on around to the side of the vehicle, please excuse my shadow. What we're looking at here is a 17 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel, silver obviously, standard braking broker package, the Buick emblem on the center cap. They're wrapped in Continental Pro Contact all season tires, 225 on the width, a 60 series sidewall 17s, all four corners, front wheel drive. Full side profile on Invista, looks good. I love the gray with the flat black, looks good. Has a nice sloping roof along the top area into the, the uh, tailgate area of this small SUV. As we move on in closer, we are color matched on the side view mirror with LED turn signals, color matched on the front and rear door handle, fuel filler on the left side of the vehicle, up top, color matched roof, shark fin antenna, no sunroof. Rear end of Invista, again, we have that kick up on the deck lid. Give it a sportier look. Look, I like that. The Buick emblem, obviously, right there in the middle. Buick underneath that, and Vista on the left. LED tail lights, standard bulbs for turn signals down low. I think I would have preferred to have them up higher uh, rather than down low. Um, somebody parks too close behind you, they might not see that you have them on. And then underneath that, we got some more brushed aluminum underneath the license plate area. And then our exhaust is tucked up underneath the vehicle. But a really good looking rear end here on this Invista Preferred. Under the hood of this 24 Invista, what are we looking at for a power plant? Well, we have Buick's 1.2 liter turbocharged inline three cylinder engine made it to a six speed automatic transmission. 137 horsepower, 162 pound feet of torque, MPGs, 28 in the city, 32 on the highway, 30 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87. So you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, I'm liking the looks of this Invista Preferred. How much am I going to have to pay for this? Well, here we go. The base price for the 2024 Buick Invista Preferred trim, the entry level trim for the Invista lineup, is $22,400. Now, this vehicle has a few options. We need to add in the convenience package for an additional $1,295. That's convenience one. That's the heated steering wheel, keyless open, remote vehicle start, seat adjuster, eight-way driver power seat, driver and front passenger heated seats, two-way power driver lumbar control. Then we have to add in $595 for the advanced safety package. That gets you the adaptive cruise lane change alert with blind, so blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert. We have to add in an extra $495 for the Moonstone Gray Metallic Paint. And then we have to add in destination and delivery of $1,095 from Buick's South Korea assembly plant. And we have a total vehicle MSRP from the factory of $25,880. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. Floor mats are in the cargo area at this time. Power seats with lumbar for the driver. Manual assist on the adjustment for the front passenger. Now we have ebony interior, right? Nice white stitching with the black. Nice fabric interior insert design on the seat. Looks good, really nice and soft on the bolstering. For the entry level Invista, it's a nice, simple looking interior. Invista door panel, we have soft touch up top, some nice silver trim that breaks up all the black with a chrome door handle, some nice soft touch on the armrest, flat black on the switch gear, pretty size, pretty good size, I'd say, door pocket 
for a small entry level vehicle. Up top now, we do have some soft touch with the stitching, a nice looking black trim or dark gray trim that goes right into your heat and air vent. Nice design there by Buick. And then a nice large glove box. Infotainment screen in Invista, we have GM's 11 inch infotainment system, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, climate action you can go to, you got your single zone climate control. You can adjust it here on your center screen or down below. So I like the redundancies in place. We have our music that we can go to right here. And of course your volume knob is up here. So you don't have to worry about worrying about where the volume is inside the screen. You got the redundancy of the knob right here, which is nice. We can Bluetooth the phone. Traction control on and off from right up here on your screen. And then down below, you have your vehicle settings where you can get your maintenance information, tr uh, fuel economy information up here, if you would like to have that up here. So there's a lot of good information in this base system with the Wi-Fi hotspot, of course, too. And the best thing about this is the wireless CarPlay Android Auto. We go to reverse, super clear with trajectory, takes up the whole screen. GM's got some of the best backup cameras in the business, and this one is no different. Back to park but a really easy system to use. Down below, here's your push button start, two heat and air vents. Here's your single zone climate control. Down further, USB-C, USB-A, 12 volt, and an area to lie your phone that's rubber so it won't slide around. Engine auto stop, start on off, lane keep assist is on or off right there. Here is the gear shift that's gonna take you through the six speed automatic transmission. Electronic emergency brake, two cup holders, Buick key fob. And it's a really nice looking key fob, I think, where we have unlock and then remote start. And then the Buick emblem is lock. And then the panic button is in red. Nice and light. Feels good in your hand, too. Now, we have a more area to, to lie stuff. And then a semi-soft armrest on your center console. And then you open that up and you have a nice area for storage. Buick steering wheel. We have a nice leather wrapped wheel with stitching flat bottom to help you get in and out of the vehicle. That was a really smart move by Buick to do that. The Buick emblem on the horn button, some br chrome and, or brushed aluminum to lift the wheel up. Flat black on the switch gear. What do we have over here? You got your adaptive cruise, parking sensors, heated steering wheel on or off. And then on the right side here, you have your vo uh, telephone voice commands, volume and controls for your digital dash. So a very, very nice touch. And one thing I forgot, getting back to this, three-stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. So heated seats and a heated steering wheel in an entry-level in Vista. That's good value. We move on in, adaptive high beams and your turn signals on the right, your front and rear windshield wiper. And then over here, you have bright and dim the dash and adjust your headlights. So they got you covered there. Driver door panel, we don't have power fold mirror, not surprising. We don't have memory seats, not surprising. But you got all your basic features here on the driver door panel. Now, as we move in to our digital dash, all digital looks really good, I think. Overhead console, if you wanna have your adaptive, excuse me, your dome lighting come on and off and you open and close the door, this button remains in the center. When you open the door, lighting comes on, close the door, lighting goes off. SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. OnStar, auto dimming mirror right here. And then we have our sun visor with vanity and a light. And does it slide? No, it does not. Getting in the back of the Invista, I have the seat set for my driving position, so I'll hop on in. Plenty of room to get in it. At five foot 11, plenty of headroom, shoulder width room, and knee space. We have the, the soft material all the way down. No seat pocket behind the driver, but we do have one behind the front passenger. In the back, an area for storage, USB-C, USB-A connectivity. Back door panel, same action as the front, except we're just missing that silver trim above the chrome door handle like we see on the front. There's the front door panel. Here's the back door panel. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same here on the back. Now, back seats, same action as the front, black, white stitching, fabric insert, nice and comfortable, but we don't have a center armrest back here. I think I'd like to see one of those 
here in this Invista. But overall, for a small SUV, it's got plenty of room. Back. Put it in the tailgate area of Invista. It's a manual tailgate, so you come to the back, hit the button right above the license plate, and lift up. Nice and light, though. And now, once you get it open with the rear seats up, 20.7 cubic feet of cargo space. We come to the back. We got some lighting in here, carpeted floor mats underneath the floor. We got a spare, so thank you, Buick, for the spare. We got some tie downs back here, and then we have this tonneau cover. So in order to get the rear seats down, you can either undo this and do it from the back, or you can go around to either door, depending on what you want to do. But you just have to hit the button and throw them forward, hit the button, throw them forward. And then, of course, if you do it from the back like me, because I like to do things the hard way, <laughs> put the tonneau cover back up. And now, with the rear seats down and this tonneau cover out, and you can take it out because it's removable and stored somewhere. You're looking at 42 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Invista. Invista window sticker, we'll zoom on in. 2024 Invista preferred, the color, standard equipment. Options, total vehicle price, fuel economy estimates, made by Buick in Korea. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're out on the road in this 2024 Buick Invista 1.2 liter turbo three. And you know what? For a subcompact entry level SUV, it feels pretty good. The engine feels like it's got plenty of power to get this vehicle up on the road. No problem at all. We got the blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist on this Invista. So you got all the safety tech, you got plenty of visibility out the windshield, side view mirror, side glass, rear uh, window, no problem. Feels good. The steering, really tight. I like the steering quite a bit. It's very light, but it's very, very tight to the touch on this Invista. When you turn this vehicle it's going to go in the way that you want it to go immediately there is no play and I love the flat bottom wheel as far as getting in and out of the vehicle it makes it much easier to get in and out because this is a, a smaller vehicle but I think it's a great idea for Buick to come out with an entry-level SUV at this price point under 26 grand and it gives you some nicer amenities because a buick is a more upscale brand than let's say chevrolet so you get the dual digital dash right you get the bigger infotainment screen you get heated seats a heated steering wheel even though it's an option package you can still get that an option that on and still be around $25,000. So you get some nicer stuff, you get some better quality interior materials, and you're at a great price for somebody's first car, an entry level car, uh, maybe somebody who needs a car for school, or for somebody who lives in an urban environment and just needs to get around town really, you know, quickly and easily and get into smaller parking spots. It's really good for that. The brakes are nice, everything stops nice. Now we're gonna do a turning radius test and it's gonna whip right around, about 19 foot on the turning radius and back around we go. And we're going back down the other way, piece of cake, no worries. Try the brakes again. Look at that, it just throws out the anchors and stops beautifully. And then this turbo three just picks up and goes. So it's a well, done, well executed vehicle and some of you are going to say, oh, it's made in Korea. Oh, that's terrible. It should be made here. Well, you know what? If you build in Vista here, it's going to be a lot more money because the U.S. build costs are a lot more than South Korea build costs. And when you're competing in the market that the Chevy Trax is in and the market that the, uh, let's say the Hyundai Kona, Kia Seltos, entry-level trims, right? Mid to high 20s. 
That's where this Invista lives. You got to be in the ballpark as far as price. So I don't have an issue with them building in Korea at all with this model. Actually, I think that's a smart move to keep the costs down to remain competitive in the market with this vehicle. And I think if you're in the market for that entry level vehicle, maybe your first car or you need an SUV and more than a car and you're looking to save money, then this Buick and Vista is a vehicle I think you should put on your list to look at the test drive and see if you like it because I'm certainly impressed by it uh, here today. But let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about it. Is this the kind of action you would want to go in? A little something a little bit nicer, looks a little bit nicer than maybe your standard Chevy Trax? Um, or are you going to say, Mike, nah, Buick's just not for me. I'm going to go somewhere else with G within GM, or I'm going to go to a different brand altogether. Let me, know, like, let me know that in the comments as well. But I do want to thank FC Kerbeck Buick GMC here in Palmyra, New Jersey, for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Buick and Vista preferred in Moonstone Gray Metallic for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.